Hello viewers, welcome to EF. Today I would like to discuss about the advanced IT security. Topic of today is complexity theory and this is the video for. Today I would like to discuss about what is Rice's theorem and what is the trivial property and what is the non-trivial property. Now let's see what is Rice's theorem. Rice's theorem says any non-trivial runtime property of a program cannot be algorithmically solved. What it means? Means there is no time restriction to solve any problem. Now, question is, what is non-trivial property? Non-trivial means something. A favorite word among the programmers and computer people for describing any task that is not quick and easy to accomplish. It may mean extremely difficult and time consuming. So what is trivial means? Trivial means denoting a subgroup that either contains only the identity element or is identical with the given group. Now let's see some example of trivial and non-trivial property. Then you will understand what it means actually. So let's suppose a property is in a set of all Turing machines have. Now, if the property is trivial, it contains in every Turing machine or if it is empty. Now, if it's non-trivial, then there might be at least one program with the Turing machine of program P that satisfy the property. And if there is at least one program P with the Turing machine TP prime that does not satisfy the property. So that is means your trivial or non-trivial property. Now let's see another example for better understanding. In my previous video, I already explained what is decision problem. Uh, here I'm again the using the concept like Let's see, I have a program and it's a decision problem. This program P, which will give um, this uh, decision program P, which will give a restricted output depending on input. The output will be yes or no. Now, um, I would like to fix my output in a way that TP always returns yes. What it means like, with an algorithm, I can partition the input in two part, like yes or no. But um, in that case, particularly, I want that TP will design in a way that it will always return me the yes output. There might be some situation also, like where program get output nothing means empty of TP means that does not accept any input. That situation can also occur. That situation is also surprising us. Like why this, the program is showing something like that? I don't want. Yeah, this point is arising as a theorem. The situation is gives us the theorem, the Rice's theorem. What the Rice's theorem is saying? With respect to recursive set, any non-trivial runtime property of a program cannot be algorithmically solved or designed. So let's see, P is my program where I am giving a sigma input which gives me output 0, 1 or 5. Now, P be the program where I want that X is my input that belongs to sigma star and i want to have my when i giving this um, x input to my program i'm always expecting one so in this situation this p of 
x is equals to 1 is a trivial property but my desired and that is my desired result i want that always my program gives always one but what about the uh, program's output zero or empty set means um, if the program is gives me zero or the five uh, there but there is no algorithm to decide that if tp gives zero or five and that is called the non-trivial property of this program actually that is saying by the rice's theorem so there is uh, there is not uh, there is so any non trivial property of a turing machine at runtime is undecidable there is no turing machine which can decide whether the language of other turing machine or program will satisfy or fulfill a particular uh, non trivial property or not um, so that's all for the rice's theorem now question is do you know some other situation yes there are a lot of situation like does the machine always gives output yes for all input or does the machine like tm is my machine and i want to have some questions answer what, what is the question like if i'm asking does the machine always gives output yes for all input if i say does the machine any input accept or if i say would the machine accept a particular input or if i say would the machine accept a particular input that is a bit like a halting problem. If I say, would it hold on a input or would it hold all input, all the situations are really undecidable. No matter what I ask, if it is not trivial, then I will not get the answer from this machine what is doing. So um, we already have been known here that uh, uh, Rice's theorem is undecidable. We know what is a trivial property and what is a non-trivial property. In the next video, I would like to discuss about the proof, how I can prove that uh, Rice's theorem is undecidable. And by the sake of contradiction, we can prove that Rice's theorem is undecidable. And thank you for watching this video. I wish to see you again.